All right, let's dive right into it. This is how you access your ads manager account if you want to run an ad on Facebook. You go into this top faded arrow here from your personal profile. You'll see your dis different businesses listed and you just click that arrow and you'll see create ads or manage ads. If this is your first time that you're creating an ad, ad manager will ask you to create an account. Now remember to create your account in Canadian dollars if you are in Canada. If you're in the US, you can use US, no problem, but basically match the currency of where you live. We have had Canadian clients open a US account and everything was fine for a while until uh, the dollar went down and then they were being charged a lot of money. So keep in mind, you wanna create an account in, in the currency of the country you live in and in the um, the time zone. So it would be, for example, Vancouver Pacific Standard Time, currency Canadian dollars. Once your account is created, you'll be asked to link your credit card to it. You don't have to do it right away. Eventually, if you want to advertise, you'll have to link your credit card to it. But remember that Facebook is only going to charge you the amount that you let them charge you. So don't be afraid of giving your credit card details. And you'll need the credit card and the, um, the zip code and address linked to that card. Now, this is, you click create ads. If you already have ads running, if you go under manage ads, you'll have all the information about the campaigns that you are running. Then we will go, um, we'll look at the three most popular objectives. So this is a still image, but I'll guide you to a live exercise right after this. It's just um, easier to show you with all the arrows from, um, this is actually the slides from our live KISS social media bootcamp. So I'll teach you the way that I was taught with the Facebook advertising group. And I think it works really well if you remember the three main blocks. So see how you have a block here that says campaign. So campaign is where you put the objective. What are you trying to accomplish? Then Facebook is going to guide you to picking and building an ad set. And the ad set is where you want to choose your audience, who do you want to see this ad? So the ad that you will create either by using a post that you already have on your page or by create a brand new ad, this ad will be seen by the people that you choose. And building an audience is really important because these are the people that you want to be your, um, ultimately your clients. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And we talk a lot about audiences and exercise about that in the strategy component of this, this uh, complete course. So have a look at our strategy course, but then placement is where we're going to talk about, do you want your ad to be seen only on desktop, on mobile devices, on Facebook messenger? Where do you want the ad to be seen? And, or on Instagram, this is at the placement level. We'll talk about Instagram. And then budget and schedule, whoopsie. So budget and schedule, this is a really important one because you are in charge and I cannot tell you enough, you are in charge. And if you are not in charge because you gave um, access to an agency, your account, make sure you know how much you're spending and make sure you get a report on your success at least a monthly report to see how your accounts are doing how much you're spending what are the results how many engagement how many 10 second video views and so on make sure you ask but this is what where you control your budget and schedule and finally we'll visit the ad format and the ad format is what your ad is actually going to look like now, the easiest way is to simply use a post. It can be a video, a couple of images, a slideshow, or a still post, a post that you have already existing on your page. Hopefully, a post that's already seeing a little bit of engagement. Heather talked um, in the other modules about unicorns and donkeys. If you go in your insights, you'll see your posts that are getting the most engagement. It's good to put a bit of money behind the posts that are already working, right? So or if you have an event or something you really want to promote. So this is where you would use, you can use an existing post or you cre can create your ad um, basically from scratch using the resources that Facebook are giving you. 
And if you create an ad not using an existing post on your page, keep in mind that this will be a dark ad. It means it will not show on your business page, but it will be seen by the people that you decide to target. I'll get back to this later. And um, you choose the media and then you have other options. So you can add links and so on. So basically we're always gonna refer to the campaign, the ad set, and the ad. Let's look at what your marketing objective is. And there's lots of different options. Feel free to try a different option once in a while. The conversion is more for people who are selling um, a product like a tangible good, a real product, or that have a lot of, um, of online sales. But what we're going to teach you are the three that we use the most and we know they work. We've tried them over and over. So we'll teach you the three, let's say, most efficient objectives. One is traffic to your website or traffic to a link. If you have a post that is linking um, as an active link in it, you would use the traffic as an objective. If you're creating a dark ad, so an ad that is not from your uh, existing on your post, traffic is a good one too. So we'll show you how to do traffic. Engagement. Engagement is by far the most popular. If you are on your business page, you'll see those big blue boost button all the time. Boost button is pretty much the same as your engagement objective, except that it's um, kind of fast food advertising. So by using Ads Manager and the actual engagement objective, marketing objective in the back end with Ads Manager, you get way better targeting options. Um, so this is basically engagement is a little bit like boost. And then video views, if you have a video, use video views, you get the best, best result for your money with video views for videos. I've put this little guy for lead generation because um, lead generation basically it creates a little form that people would fill in and then you would collect their phone number, email addresses and so on. However, what we found, and we have tried this a lot because we, we do a lot of business with real estate agents, what we found is that when you do lead generation from Facebook, people don't want to give you the information for nothing. You're way better to send them to your website where you have a data collecting form. So a home evaluation form, or you can tell them that they can download your buyer's guide, or they can download um, some useful tips, or they can sign up for a new, the, your newsletter. If you give people something in exchange, they're, they're way more likely to share their personal information, their phone number, and their email. So I would stay away from lead generation. So to recap, we're going to um, go over the objective the three main ones, traffic engagement and video views. I'm showing you this and then afterwards I'm gonna switch to the live screen, but this is the first one we're going over. So see how I put objective? I've decided to click on engagement and you wanna make sure you name your campaign. And the reason being is that you will have more than one campaign running at some point and it gets really confusing when you're trying to do your reporting to see um, how things are doing. So make sure you name your campaign and you will be asked to write the same name at the three different levels on the campaign level, the ad set level and on the ad. So sometimes I just, um, copy it so I can paste it at each level. So if you have this, for example, if you are a real estate agent, you would put the name of, of your listing, for example. And this is where I was showing you. Engagement is the same as those boost post button that you see. And the boost post button are not bad, but we, we, we and Facebook and a lot of the experts um, don't recommend that you use the boost button more than 20% maybe of the time. And another way that you can use the boost button somewhat efficiently is that by creating 
target audiences and saving your audiences. And then when you use the boost button, you would use those save audiences to be more granular in your targeting. Now that's a little bit out there for now, but once we get to the audiences, I will show you um, how that works. So from there, I'm going to switch, bear with me for one second, I'm going to switch to the live screen. We're going to go on the Keep It Simple social media um, account, and I will show you step by step. I'll actually do a real app to show you. 